one of the other uh, topics that comes up often, guys, is the, the topic of boundaries. And often when I'm talking to guys trying to make the changes, I'm not really hearing them saying that they're having problems with boundaries. What I'm hearing them say is that they don't have time to eat better. They don't have time to make food. They don't have time to exercise. Then I hear what they're doing, what's taking up their time. It's work. It's working from home. It's in front of the computer. It's back-to-back -back meetings and calls. But really what it is, it's an issue with boundaries. For the most part, we set our own boundaries. What happens though, is when we get beat up a lot in life and the way things are going and we're not happy, we start letting ourselves just get blown around in the wind like a leaf, right? Let the, the current take us wherever it takes us. And the problem with that is we never know what direction we're going in, but we have no control. And the only control we actually have at the end of the day is over ourselves. So what we need to work on is boundaries and create some structure and realize that whatever we deem as being truly important, we make time for. Most of you guys that are watching this stuff are late, four, uh, late 30s, early 40s, 50s. Listen, we were young men. We drove two or three hours just to get laid, right? Did it for two or three hours, drove back, took a shower, went back to work at six o'clock in the morning and fucking did it over and over again. Why? Because it was important to us then, right? It meant a lot to us. It was exciting. So we can do crazy shit when we want to. So turning around and starting to create structure and boundaries in our life to the point where we're getting up half an hour earlier. We're going to bed half an hour earlier. That's the first start. Because what that's going to do now is start creating some time and space for us to work on things. So twice a week when we work on food prep, there is 40 minutes twice a week, right? You may not see it. You may not want to see it, but it's there. We have time in the morning to get up half an hour earlier and do a little bit of exercise, get our meals ready for the day from the night before if we didn't already, weigh in, shower, prepare our minds and bodies for the day ahead, journal, get our mindset right. Now, when you first start, this seems like a lot and it's overwhelming, but it's in creating these boundaries that we're gonna set the platform for us to make these changes we need to. So the first thing I get everyone to do is go to bed half an hour earlier, get up half an hour earlier. Does that mean you're gonna have to change how things are done during the day? Of course, but we have a reason to now. If you're sitting there and you're booking back-to-back -back meetings online, one, two, three, four, five on the clock, right? You're the one doing that, right? There's nothing saying I can do a meeting at 12, to one, and then my next meeting is at 1.30. Just say it. And if no one can go do it, well then make the change, but then change your other meeting, right? You make those decisions because other people who have boundaries and structure, they're doing it, right? Because they have to do it for a reason. Maybe they have to be done by four because they have to go pick up the kids. Maybe they have to be done by five because you have to take the kids to the arena. We find lots of reasons to do things for others. We need to put ourselves in a place of importance where we realize that we need to create boundaries and structure for ourselves to allow us to make the changes we want to make to become the better versions, to become happier, fitter, 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 healthier overall. We need to work on our boundaries and create that structure now more than ever.